Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your monthly tarot reading for June 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Sagittarius. So the four general energies of the month are on the left, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. The overriding energy of the month is the King of Swords. Top three cards on the right hand side represent love and romance with the three of, sorry, the four of cups, the, the page of cups and the six of wands. Bottom three cards represent money, career, business with the three of swords, the two of wands and the fool. Now I do think there's some overlap. There are some love messages, there are some business messages, but the cards will say what they want to say. A little bit of overlap there, so I'll bring that into the equation. I've also got angel and love messages as well. So, King of Cups. King of Cups can be... Now, the, the court cards can be people in your life. Somebody... This is somebody who... Probably not very emotionally centred. Somebody who can be a little bit stern. Possibly not a wonderful sense of humour. But they are exceptionally fair. Their advice is exceptionally clear. And generally right, because they take the stance of justice, so generally right prevails. They stand for truth, fairness in all actions. So if you're going to somebody with issues this month, if there is something at work or in the love, love spectrum or you're seeking some advice or help on a situation, this is somebody who's going to be very, very fair in your, fa you know, very fair to you. Now, as an energy, this is an air energy, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is, you see the butterfly in the background. This says that you can really transform your situation for the best by having that clear mind. It's also quite a visionary card, this card. Understanding where you're going, have that razor sharp logic. Not allowing emotions to cloud your judgment or past hurts. This is somebody who very much lives in the present and future. They don't really look back. They have the wisdom of the past, but don't hold to it. So, yeah, it's really powerful energy. It might well also be that you're cutting... You can be cutting people out of your life. You know, it is a cutting energy. It might well come at some kind of like earthly justice, earthly judgment, where you're judging somebody else for their actions if they've hurt you. That can also be in the business or the love situation or friendship situation. And this is you then moving on because this is a card of success. It's a success by that empowerment of the mind. Seeing things clearly is also very perceptive. Very authoritative, taking authority in your life now through understanding the situation for what it is, seeing the real truth of the situation. And as I say, that might mean that you are cutting away things that you don't need in your life or people or situations that might have hurt you because it can stand for that earthly judgment, you know, or judgment that you're, you're taking on others or that others might have taken on you. But this definitely is a sign of success. Nevertheless, he is a king. He is a great achiever. So this is all about achievement. But by clear thinking, by strategizing, by visions, by understanding where you're going, by getting that clarity on people and situations. And that's really empowering for you because you will understand people, their motivations, the masks, you know, seeing through false masks as well. Very much that King of Swords energy. You cannot lie. You cannot present falsities to this person. It's just impossible because they're just too perceptive. They're too quick. Now, there's a new beginning on offer for you, Sagittarius. A beautiful new beginning. You've got two new beginnings cards, the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool in your business sector. And this can link to business. The Ace of Pentacles can be an offer. Can be good news as well. Good news on, a, on an outcome, or maybe a new start. 
in a new job, in a new career, in a new business venture. This is starting something new, new beginnings, new starts. Something that will give you more solidity, more groundedness. Again, maybe by earning more money long term. This is the very beginnings of something new. It's open, the open door to new horizons. It's the time of greater abundance in your life. You see this garden, so abundant, so flourishing. This is about real abundance. The beginnings of flourishing, about thriving in your own right, certainly on the career front. can also link to st more stable relationships. You're wanting something more stable in your life. There's something very solid about this energy. It's earth energy. You know, it connects to earth energy. Being feeling more stable, feeling more secure, feeling more grounded, being more practical in your life. Look at things practically. Yeah. Now, there have been situations, okay, whatever's happened in the past, and again, remember that you've got that King of Swords energy, so you are conquering this, you are conquering this, this illusion, which is the Nine of, of Swords. This is somebody who is in really dark moods, dominated by their emotions, mental blocks, memories of the past, past hurts keeps them up all night. This could be a sign of worrying about not being able to put things in perspective in your mind. But this is the illusion because the swords are actually here. The swords of truth are there. It's just this person can't see truth, perspective, clarity in order to push forward from this situation. And it says it's time. It's time to, to, to move on in this situation and see truths, absolutely, with that King of Swords energy. Get that empowerment of the mind back. Now, this could be on a work situation. This could also be, it could be where you currently work and you're wanting a new beginning or a fresh start from somebody. Could be on solid, more solid relationships, you know, wanting more solid relationships, maybe struggling on the relationship front because we do have some cups energy here as well. Maybe one's affecting the other. Maybe work and love is interlinked. Could well be that you've been upset by somebody who you work with, who you might be dating as well. As I say, these things that I'm saying won't resonate with everybody, they resonate with who they're meant to. Some of you have been thrown into a state of confusion because your emotions are running high. This is about not being able to make clear choices because you just haven't got your emotions under control. And the King of Swords says you need to judge things now and make clear choices in order to move on. And that energy will allow you to do that. The King of Swords is very good at getting a grip on the emotions to the point where his logic will dominate, his reasoning will dominate, and everything else, else takes second place. So I think whatever these negative energies are that are just keeping you suspended in that state of worry, despair, upset, could be hurt in love, could be not making choices to move on in love, not knowing what to do with the love situation, could also be choices, opportunities in the material sense as well, so opportunities on the job front, opportunities to grow on the career front, but you don't feel that you can make a choice right now because your emotions are running high and you can't put your mind in perspective. This is where the universe and, and the King of Swords are saying you, can, you have to get a grip on these things in order to make clear choices, in order to make grounded choices. Some of these opportunities might have been a long time coming. And it's time to see opportunities when they arrive and not be closed off to them. This can be all your hopes, your dreams, your ambitions. Being materialising, materialising, real opportunities that were almost kind of like out in the ether, you were in your head, you were dreaming, you were hoping, you were thinking of opportunities to move on, whether it's in love or, or business. This is where they take material form of an offer. So don't miss the opportunity. This is the Four of Cups. You see this divine energy offering you, there's an offer. 
there could be missed opportunities. There could be missed opportunities if you follow that King of Swords advice and get a grip and find perspective. You will be successful, absolutely, 110%. But it's a challenge. It's a challenge for some of you, Sagittarius. But I think you're strong enough to do it. Now, on the career, sorry, on the love front, we have the Page of Cups. Again, we have this Missed Opportunities card, Four of Cups, and we have the Victory card, which is Six of Wands. I think, now let's just have a look at this. This is, you've been, you've overcome challenges on the love front. This is the Victory card, coming through challenges, obstacles, maybe difficulties with a person. In, you know, in a, in a relationship. And this is you moving forward. It's taken a lot of strength and courage, but you're finally getting there. You're conquering those um, challenges of the past to push through. Now, this is the heart centre as well of the Tree of Life, the, the Six of Wands, which is what the rest of the tarot, all the tarot is, is structured around the Tree of Life. So doing things with an open heart, you, I think you're beginning to open up again. I think you're beginning to open up to love. But there's also a feeling that I've got that some of you have been through the mill so much on the love front that you just want to have fun and not have anything too committed. This could also be messages, positive messages of news on the love front. You know, you could connect to a potential relationship that's divinely guided, but could be missed opportunities to move on in love, most definitely. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling on the love front, most definitely. There's an opportunity to enrich your life. Yeah, so I guess it is engaging with those opportunities and being more engaged, being a participator in shaping your life, not being afraid to face your emotions and bring them under control, to face the demons in your mind and bring them under control. Because that's the beauty of the King of Swords, that's why he's so successful. He masters that mind, it's mind control. He's exceptionally good at mastering his own mind. That's what makes him so powerful. Now on the business front, I think some of you have been, I mean, certainly in this situation, I think some of you have been challenged on the on the relationship front. Again, it could have been in a work situation. Yeah. Could be in love, you know, love in the work situation or your love life has spilled over and affected your your career opportunities. But this is where it's really interesting because where you were closed off to making choices, where you were so confused, this is where you're getting that grip on making choices, of recognising your own power now, of realising that you have more control over your world than you think you had, and making clear decisions, choices, in order to move forward. So moving on from the past, you're moving on from past hurts and you're engaging in your own life. Now this can also mean that you're throwing yourself into the work situation because you've been hurt in love. But some of you are really switched on to bring in real success. This is beginnings of success in your life. Yeah, beautiful energies, really powerful energies. And you've got the power to shape your world for the better. And look at this, this is the full energy. This is about new beginnings, fresh starts again. Letting go of old baggage, you're done with it. I think you're so done. I think you are so done. You are getting that mastery over those emotions that hurt from the past. Whatever aspect it was, this can be, this is levels to this Three of Swords anyway. You could have been hurt at work. You could have been hurt by people that you trusted at work. You could have been hurt in the love situation. This can also talk about heartbreak. But you're moving on now. And again, this Six of Swords, Six of Wands energy, moving on to victory, to a fresh new start. You're done. You're not looking back. Not looking back, Sagittarius. You're open and honest and open to receive whatever life throws at you because you've overcome the past. This is moving forward with no baggage. 
This is a card of Uranus. So it's a rebel energy doing things that suit you and not necessarily everybody will be happy with it or agree with it. But you're not going to be held back by other people or situations anymore. You're doing something that's true to you. This is divine energy shining on that fool. This can be where you're taking a leap of faith, maybe on a new career or a new business venture. You're finding that vision, that progress to move forward. You know where you're going and you've got plans. You're making plans for the future. Really powerful, these cards, Sagittarius. Real optimism as well. Now, the two angel cards we have. Forgiveness, it is forgive where you can forgive. Could be forgiving yourself. Sometimes we forgive because it allows us to release, but we don't forget. You know, but it is one of those decisions now where you are moving on, so maybe there is some form of forgiveness here, but you're done with the situation. And abundance, I mean, I've spoken about abundance. This card is real abundance. So the, the, the Ace of Pentacles, you have some cards of real abundance, certainly an offer to you. So, yeah, grab hold of those opportunities to bring real abundance into your life now. You have some victory as well, so allow that to come in. And the love card is willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So it might well be a new outlook. You see, you're open-hearted. Again, that's six of one's energy, the heart center. Being open-hearted again, I think you're ready to move on. I think you're ready to receive love as well. I think you're ready to move on in business. You're ready to just embrace life. But definitely mentally, you've moved on. You're done with a situation or a person now. And it's not holding you back anymore. Some really powerful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I will see you next time.